Hello, it's Sarah, and I just wanted, to, I've been making a lot of videos lately, but this is a little welcome sign. It's actually pretty big. It's like six inches by two inches, maybe. Yeah, and I'm going to add it to my, I'll show you what I do, but I'm going to antique it with a dark burnt umber. My camera's a little crooked today. Anyway, I'm going to wet this too. I'm not going to just go straight paint. I'm going to water it down a little bit. And I want to show you the difference. It comes off a lot easier when you wet it too, when you water it down. And um, you still get an antique effect. I have about three or four paper towels that I've already wet. And... Um, dampened I guess and squeezed out so they're ready to go but you can tell how much wetter the paint is it's definitely maybe too wet see I'm always but I am gonna let it sit on there for just a minute I used this color for the um, house as well well it's a door for the door because um, I just wanted to see what it looked like and I liked it much better. And this is on wood, well, I, it's supposedly like a wood sign. So that's it. I'm just gonna let it sit on there for a second. And then you come in with um, wet paper towel and just start to wipe it away. but you want to leave some of it in the nooks and crannies. So of the, the little lines on my leaves, I want it to be, and in the wood, like in some of the, oops, in some of the, um, between the letters maybe, like in the shaded areas. But a lot of it does come off when you use the, when you water it down. And now I don't know why I'm whispering today. I've been yelling in all my videos lately. I've noticed I think I'm I'm overcompensating right now. But you, I'm liking it because you can see where I added the dots on the letters, like little nail holes. And I'm actually I'm just kind of blotting. And we go in between there. I like it much better when you um, don't go with just straight paint when you water it down because I've had I've gotten very very dark 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 and like I kind of do want to add it back in see now that I don't have any paint to use but like on this end right here I would kind of like it to be in the wood lines a little bit more See, and that's the thing, maybe it's better to go back a second time rather than just have the, the darkness right away. I just, this um, wood grain line is just from a, um, a texture sheet and it's, it's, it's not the lines are kind of thick, so I'm able to rub it. Oops, I just rubbed it right through. But I'm able to rub it kind of out of the lines, so I'm, that's why I'm kind of doing this up and down. And I'm I made these little holes in it, so I'm thinking I'm going to use something. I think like twine, maybe. I don't know why I'm using one glove, because I am a mess. Okay. So does that look good? I'm going to try blotting it with a dry tail, too. I, th I think that's good enough. And I did end up pulling it out of, like, between those letters. All right. But I like it better. I like it better with the brown. It definitely does the job. So I'm going to be hanging this above my uh, 
fairy door, so I'll show you. I just glued the fairy door. I ended up gluing it onto this piece of like a trellis, I guess it's called. <clears throat> Let me move the paint. Come back up. I glued it on here with E6000 because that way this is just where it's going to live, right on the trellis. So it's glued on here and then I'm going to be able to stick this right in the ground where I want it. And then here's the sign above it and it fits, right? I'm going to hang it, I think. I'm just going to hang it from maybe from this area. I could glue it too, but I'm just going to hang it and see how that goes. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.